my peoples, my friends, I have been waiting a whole week to watch Attack on Titan because I had to give my eyes a break. Um, if you guys don't know the situation that's been going on or why I've been missing for an entire week, you didn't really see any uploads or anything like that. That's simply because I had to take a break. My eye, my left eye was giving me a lot of issues. Well, not a lot of issues. It was just hurting a whole lot. So um, the conclusion is that it's nothing serious, right? It's, it's not anything serious. Um, I just needed to give my eyes a break and get sleep um, because the, and, and hitting a nail on the head. That's just what it is, right? I just needed those two things. Um, I'm refreshed. As I said, um, the, um, the, the pain in my eye has subsided substantially. Um, there's really nothing there. It doesn't really, it doesn't hurt me at, at all. Really. Um, you know, unless I like rub my eye really hard or some crap like that but in in any case you know health before wealth man make sure you take care of yourself out there so now we're back and i'm back on the grind i know today is saturday when you guys are gonna see these episodes um i'm making sure i get these out before i jump into my regular routine of other reactions and stuff like that um so yeah man attack on titan i'm ready to go hopefully you guys are ready I know there's not a ton of y'all watching this, but I'm ready. I'm ready to go. Nonetheless, still got to get to the end of Attack on Titan one way or the other. I want to see how this story ends. If we're going to end up at the end of it to say this is the goat of animes or is it going to falter because of the ending? I also you guys have let me know that I can watch the opening now. It's no spoilers. Um, I mean, well, there is spoilers just that I'm allowed. <laughs> I can watch the opening now to see what it is. Uh, cause I really, I really like the song. The song is really cool. I like the, the rumbling song, really cool song. Like it very much. Even though I'm not one that really likes, um, that kind of music that much. This one is really nice. I like it. So let's jump into it and I will see you guys right after for the review. Is it though? カメの巨人は列を作って島の外に向かってる。私たちは攻撃するつもりはなかったんだろうけど。多少の犠牲が何だって言うんだ。いや、エレンに殺された。その通りだ。エレン・イエガーは地獄の民を殺した。だが、
地下室であんたの顔を眺める仕事から解放されるしねそれはよかったこれでようやく終わるのねあんたのくだらない男の愚痴を聞かされるのも<笑>なんでそのことジクヘアビテンあんたずっと意識があったの Damn. Four years, bro. I don't know how much you go. 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 突然私は外に放り出されエレンの声を聞いた世界を滅ぼすってあれ本気で言ってんの人を殺すことは褒められることだった国境を越えれば戦闘員も民間人も区別なく殺していいと教わった私たちエルディア人の食材と世界を救う使命のため全ての行いは正当化されたつまり瓦礫の死体は多少の犠牲だったって言いたいわけいや世界を救うとかどうでもよかった全てがどうでもよかった生まれて間もない時に親に捨てられた母親の浮気相手がエルディア人だったとかでねそんな私を収容所で引き取ったのは外国から来たエルディア人の血を持つ男私と似たような理由で収容所に入れられたらしい男の目的は私をマーレの戦士に鍛え上げて自分の生活を豊かにすることだった男にとって私は戦士になれるかどうかの価値しかなかった私は男が望んだように強くなり<笑>そんなに痛めつけられた分を男に返した二度とまともに歩けない体にしてやったけど男は喜んだこれなら武器がなくても敵を殺せるってだから私はどうなってもよかったどこの国の何人が死のうが生きようが自分を含めて命というものに価値があるとは思えなかったあの時までは島へ向かわさ男は膝をついて私に謝った教えたことは全て間違っていたとそして泣きながら懇願した帰ってきてくれと男は私の父親だった私を自分の娘だと思っていた、oh, wow. We're hearing this. We always thought that dude was our actual father. Still calling him devils. Jidarashi got hot dogs at a tanda. Eden Yegaga, Sveter Inocho, Ubaini Kurzo. Anton Yemo, Kamisan Nojikabo, Kumitsu Sarer Dio. Yeah, because they couldn't hear the message. Damn, he thought. Ewa, 
ルミ待って今からラガコ村を目指したってコニーには追いつけないダメだったとしてもできる限りのことを行動で示さなきゃいけないあの人神の信用を得られないまだどこかに潜んでるダイナやシャリキの巨人をおとなしくさせられるかどうかがかかってるコニーに言うよお母さんはひっくり返った巨人のままでもいいんじゃないかって私はどうしたらいいの少しは自分で考えてエレンのことどうするのわからないよそれにどうしようもないだろフロックたちが僕らにも銃口を向けるかもしれないもう兵団の指揮系統は機能してない無秩序だだからもうどうしようもないエレンのことなんか考える余裕はないよそれくらいわかるだろう<笑>グレーエルヴィン団長がこの場にいたらこんなブザムに当たり散らしたりしなかったのにね母親のためとはいえ少年の命を引き換えにすることをコニーは深く考えためらうはずだミア元気でね私の本当の名前ガビっていうのえガビって変ミアの方がいい。ガビズウェイ。I like Mia better. <laughs> じゃあね。かよ。さよなら。ガビ。Cool stuff, man. フロックやめろ。ふしだ。落ち着けよ、じゃん。わからせただけ。Fuck is a menace, bro. <laughs> 彼はまだ状況を理解してなかった。だがこれで伝わっただろう。口の聞き方を間違えたらどうなるのかがみんなに。やっふら。一体誰がお前に。Oh, this man is on here with his black air force energy, just always on demon time, bro. 俺は十ヶ月前、エレンから今回の計画を聞いた。ジークを利用し、始祖の力をエレンが掌握する計画だ。Ten months ago. エレンの手助けをし、計画は今日達成されたお前たち義勇兵は指導者を失った味方をしてくれる兵団の後ろ盾もなそしてお前たちは故郷をも失う地ならしによって全ては巨大な足跡の下だお前たち義勇兵がこの島に来た動機である故郷の復興の夢も失うそれでもこの島でエルディア帝国のために力を貸してくれる者がいるなら声を上げよう我々は歓迎しエルディア人として迎えるふざけるなクソ野郎<笑>あ<笑>フラック What is wrong with you? Yo, Flock is on demon time, man What? This man said, yo, if you disrespect me Bruh, Flock ain't playing no games. <laughs> Yo, Flock ain't playing no games, my guy. This man. Yo. Yeah, bruh. Bruh. Namari Damani Kusir Kotonak. You hear no Hokori Otsuranita. Bruh. Pride is nothing to die for. I don't know what to do. What is this? I'm not going to go to the house. 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 だからもう昔のジャンに戻れよいい加減でムカつく生意気な野郎にリヴァイ兵士長とハンジ団長はどうしたの残念ながらジークに殺されたコニーさん助けてもらってありがたいんですがと北に進んでますよねいいんだよ危険な南から離れた方が記憶喪失のお前を安全な病院まで送るお前は本当に一人で倒れてた本当だ当
ちゃんもサニーもマーティンももう戻ってこないけど母ちゃんだけは取り戻せるコニーさんはいい人でよかったでも何とかして南に戻らなきゃ兄貴とガビに合流したところまでは覚えてる He's remembering some. So, I don't eat any nanny got done. So, any Connie, son, whatever. Doko got a meet up with our Kigas and Dako. Oh, it's not over. Oh, to Sukodoka Kangaret. Did I send a no mama marring Modorio? This day, Ginarasin Hats to whom it. Whatever a marigan says on what it's bossy stano de shock. Yeah, came with a quarter day. Each hike of Hong Kong need Jita or Shirasel Kotoga to kill. あれに踏みつぶされるまで待つよりずっといいしかしもうこれではなすすべがありませんあれを止める策は何か終わりでしょうかないただ最後にみっともなくもがくまでだ、あのー、<笑>ちょっと待ってとりあえず食べないでこちらには何の武器もありませんえあっちに誰かいるご安心くださいあれは人畜無害の死に損ないです Alright, so we get confirmation that leave that well, we knew they survived but we didn't know how <laughs> how good, you know what I'm saying, they were doing Flock lied because he know he knew that they jumped in the water and escaped. I don't know why he told him that they died. That was kind of weird. <laughs> but anyways, let's get to the review. That was that really good episode. All right, so Attack on Titan, final season episode twenty three. Man, it's one of the things that I like about this series is it it, it takes the time to tell. To tell you what's going on there's no rush um i'm pretty sure maybe i don't know how many chapters in the manga they they cover in like one episode of the the series but all i know is that i'm enjoying the dialogue giving us you know annie's backstory i don't think she ever told that story because i this whole time i thought that that dude was her actual dad or blood father but she was abandoned by her parents and she and he basically found her and adopted her trained her um also abused her you know what i'm saying and then she kicked his ass and then you know because he wanted to get that marleyan privilege you know but it worked out that way and then when annie was supposed to leave to go on her miss mission and told him about it he told her basically just make sure to come back alive so that's how we got that line there so pretty cool to know about and to to know about annie's backstory man but the story of this episode is flock bro Fl <laughs> flock telling them that yo 10 months ago aaron told me about his plan they they been plan well Obviously, this plan was in motion a long time ago from the whole Jaegerist situation. Everything was basically planned by Aaron because Aaron basically knew what was going to happen, right? So, you know, so it was the plan. So they're taking care of the island while Aaron is out there trampling the world. And I love that scene with Armin talking to Mikasa because Mikasa is... Mikasa is confused. I'm not going to tear her character down to say, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to tear her character down um, to the point where it makes it seem like her character is not significant anymore. Um, but I understand where Armin is coming from. He's telling her, think for yourself for once. Armin is literally the last person that should be telling anybody anything with his cowardly ass that he that he's been throughout the series um the one time he did a brave thing he almost died you get what i'm saying well he was dead <laughs> well technically he almost died let's put it like that and then they had they basically decide to save him you know what i mean armin has always been the brain he's always been the brain and we've praised him for being a very smart individual 
you know what i mean it's the reason why you know um erwin kind of passed the torch if you will um not that you know what i'm saying he wanted to not, i don't think he wanted to but he's like enough you know what i'm saying enough don't bring me back to life man you know what i'm saying like enough you know he's had his fill just just tired of this i wish he was here to see all of this but at the same time you know <laughs> it's okay that he's not there to see this because i think he would be very disappointed in what he's seen it's kind of like um you know losing a parent at an early age and then wishing that they were there to see the accomplishments but at the same time are they really accomplishments you know what i mean um because at the time they didn't know the truth yet right when when erwin died they didn't know the truth about any of this apparently aaron did but <laughs> you know what i'm saying but they didn't really know what was going on and it brings a lot of things into context as well as to when aaron was standing when they were at the beach and he's like yo it's all we gotta do all we gotta do is kill everybody out uh, over by over across the sea right and we were all thinking at that point he's talking about you know what i'm saying oh you know marley or whoever is out there right we were t that's what we we're talking to talking about marley right but he wasn't just talking about marley <laughs> i mean talking about everybody this man wants to kill everybody but flock man oh man from season three when you hear flock was the one that wanted to save erwin you know he wanted erwin to be saved i think maybe aaron saw that dedication and was like yo i got a plan homie you down <laughs> you know what i'm saying you know you know what i mean so bruh you can't deny the superb writing that goes into this story you can't deny it you can't look at this and be like this story is trash like there's there's no way and i understand that the ending might change you know what I'm saying? It might change my outlook, but it's still it's, it's only going to be for the ending. Like I'm never gonna judge the rest of the show. It's kind of like how I talk about Game of Thrones and be like, they dropped the ball completely in season in season eight of the series, which Game of Thrones could have gone down as the undisputed best TV show of all times like it could have done that right based on the writing that we were seeing up till about season five i would say even though they were still changing things um from the book from what i've learned they still could have pulled it off they still could have pulled it off but they they fucked it all up they let's just be honest they they did <laughs> you know what i'm saying um so for me when i watch the show and i'm like Yo, just every turn, every dialogue, even the situation with Gabi and Kara. Um, is it Kara or Kaya? I think it's Kaya. Kaya? Kara. Whatever. You guys know what I'm talking about. Even that little scene where they hugged and said goodbye. How far these two are coming. How far we hated Gabby the first the first um, part of the season. Hated Gabby. Like, you know what I'm saying? I did not like Gabby. Like, I'm talking about, like... I didn't even like to see her on screen because I'm just like, you're so dumb. You're not paying attention to nothing. You're just so headstrong about these devils. You're not even paying attention to what's really going on around you. And seeing that you're basically, you're basically hating on your own kind, not trying to understand where they're coming from. It's like, what does this have to do with this? You know what I'm saying? Like you guys came over here. We were, we were living we were doing our thing and y'all kept sending titans over here and stuff like that and then all of a sudden y'all y'all come over here bust our walls down let titans eat up eat up our people and stuff like that like what's great about that you know what i'm saying 
yes, Eldians were trash. You know what I'm saying? And us not knowing the history. And that's why a, a lot of times it brings into context things that I've said in the past, not on these videos or anything like that. Um, but stuff that I talk about and I say a lot of times I said history, it is important. But what level of importance is it? You know what I'm saying? What level of importance is it like? Is it a situation where you're using history to make the future better? You get what I'm saying? Or are you just laying there saying, oh, we're just going to repeat this history and keep it, keep it here. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, what does what my people did to you have to do with how you treat me now? You still choosing to do this very same thing that was done to you. How is this cycle going to change? If we keep doing this, if we keep repeating history, cause it's like, oh, we're just going to bide our time until we take over again. And then you're going to bide your time until y'all take over again. And the cycle keeps repeating. Nobody's going to be like, let's work together and make the world a better place. Right? I mean, at this very moment that I'm sitting here watching this, Russia just invaded Ukraine, right? It, 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 I mean, just, just, just out of nowhere. I'm not saying that he might not have a reason in his head somehow of, of why they're doing this, right? But why is it happening? why make that decision no matter what the reason is why make that decision that decision to stir up the world right what is going on right and that's just what i'm saying is this as a topic in and itself but i'm just saying when it comes on to the show it does stir up a lot of things it does make you think and if you're not thinking you know if you're just here to see a reaction if you're just here to see how this turns out you're just reading this story and one of the things that i like to do on my channel is reflect think about these things draw parallels as to where this this person who is writing this story is coming from because a lot of this stuff is is applied a lot of this stuff is drawing things from our real lives that we're living you get what I'm saying? And learn something from it. That is what I usually do not show. Sure. Yes, some things are made for pure entertainment and I get that. But a show a show like this pulls so much out of you. So much different, so many different emotions can come out from watching something like this. The writing is incredible and just relating to it just from a, a, a real life point of view. Yes, we don't have Titans running around. We get that. But look at the conflict between countries uh, and just uh, bruh this is just it's just a great show man and you know the ending is yet to come i keep talking about it because you know you don't really get you know you don't really get a lot of positive um you know you'll get like 10 people saying negative things about the ending and you get one person saying something positive about the ending. It's it's that kind of ratio. So it's 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 weird. <laughs> it's weird. Um, so um, I'm not going to let it influence me on what I think about it. But if it doesn't really make sense, if it's not an ending that I can dissect and be like, you know what, this makes sense, at, or that doesn't, or whatever the situation is. But I will be giving my thoughts on Attack on Titan once again. I don't know when it's going to end. I don't know how many episodes is left, um, but definitely, definitely looking forward to seeing how they wrap up this story. Anyways, thank you guys so much. I appreciate y'all. It's been real. See you guys tomorrow <laughs> for another episode of Attack on Titan. I appreciate y'all. Catch you guys later, man. Peace.